Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be going over some top summer fragrance recommendations. If you want more recommendations, I will leave links to past videos I've done before. I am here to give you those recommendations that you've been looking for for the hot weather. The first one being Stefan Umbert Lucas, God of Fire. Now there's been actually like a good handful of mango fragrances coming out, which I'm very excited to see. And there have been some solid releases for sure, but this is still, still my favorite. I don't know, this, this just does it for me. It's the perfect amount of like a wow factor, incredible performance, addictive, exotic, intriguing. It, it just gives me everything that I could possibly want in a mango scent. And what I really appreciate about this is that it isn't just mango. It's not the only thing you're getting. Like you're just getting the experience of eating the mango or drinking a mango beverage. It's so much more than that. It's lifted up. There's this bright pop from the citrusy fresh lemon. There's tart red berries. The ginger is also very fresh, gives it some spice character. And to ground it, we have a deep wood that gives it an exotic tone. It doesn't weigh down the fragrance. It's still 100% going to work in warm weather, but then it's bringing in more dimension to the scent. It's not just like a fruity citrus perfume. A sexy amber and musk and a bit of cypriol to lend a touch of a green tone. I smell this fragrance and it makes me think of the movie Avatar. Like I am transported to the visuals of Pandora where they live. It's just full of life and color. It's just this magical fantasy realm. I absolutely love this scent. And like I said previously, the performance is amazing. It's going to project, it's gonna last all day. And it's such a compliment getter as well. Like people are very drawn in by this scent. Next up is the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. And you guys know I, I'm obsessed with fresh coconut water scents in the summer. If you've been following me for a while, you know that Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz is a huge love of mine that was unfortunately discontinued. And this is a fragrance that's in the same kind of realm. So when I run out of coconut fizz, it will be a sad day, a death in the family, sorrows, sorrows prayers, but at least I got this to keep me going. This is a delightful, refreshing, chilled coconut water scent that has a beautiful, warm, creamy vanilla to it. Part of this fragrance is very cooling, refreshing. Like this is going to be amazing on those hot days, but then it has this comforting, sunny, solar kind of warmth to it. The frangipani is going to take you somewhere tropical. You are on an island. I'm getting a little bit of a fresh, natural jasmine and a hint of the sea salt note, which it's not too salty. It's not too mineral, but it's giving you that seaside breeze. This is taking you on vacation. This is cheaper than a plane ticket and it's gonna take you there all the same. And I get five hours out of this one with moderate projection. Next up is Gritty Gossip Night. And I'm gonna let you know that this has been my favorite peach fragrance that I have ever tested. This just hit home for me. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but I'm just usually not a fan of peach and fragrances. I love eating peaches, I like the smell of peaches, all that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the blend. I don't know if how it comes across usually in fragrances. It's just kind of like artificial. It doesn't captivate me, but this one does. This is all the best parts of the peach. First of all, it's a white peach. Love those. It is so unbelievably juicy. Like the juiciest peach that you've ever laid your pretty eyes on. And not only are you getting like this naturally sugary, juicy tone, of the peach, but you're also getting a little bit of the tang. Just a little bit of that crisp, like, mm, that's fresh. This is a fruity bomb. We also have mango blossom. I, I'm getting like the fruit experience. I'm not getting 
floral at all when I smell this. And then there's a tinge of lychee. So not only are these fruits naturally sweet, but we're gonna, we're gonna amp up the sugar. We're gonna amp up the addictive factor. And we're gonna bring in caramel, vanilla, and whipped cream. It's silky smooth, creamy. It's like a dessert drizzle. You know what this smells like? I'm gonna tell you right now. Unfortunately, this is probably only gonna connect with a couple of you, but I will put up a picture for you to visualize. If you've had the Georgia peach from Cheesecake Factory, it's gossip night. It's a blended fruity cocktail with peach liqueur, peaches blended in there, and then a swirl of raspberry, but we're gonna, we're gonna swap that out with a, a mango puree. Literally when I smelled this the first time, I felt like I was having that again. If you haven't tried that already and you can, it's so good. Gossip night smells like you are meeting up with your girls at the country club and it is sunset and you are sipping on your Georgia peaches talking about everyone who's ever wronged you. Simply put, this is just a very fun, easy to like fragrance and I have been reaching for this nonstop layered with homage guidance and I am telling you that is a combo you need to try, okay? Because this is going to amplify that addictive fruity factor in guidance and it's that fruity factor then is just gonna linger on. Because in guidance, we have the osmanthus, the pear, the vanilla, and here, vanilla, mango, peach. Am I a genius? <laughs> I already know. And I get five hours out of this one with an intimate sillage. Next up is an OG favorite of mine, and this is Mikalef Ylang in gold. And this has got to be the most heavenly, ethereal blend of Ylang Ylang. I, I'm telling you, I feel like I smell like a straight up angel when I wear this, like I am the epitome of femininity. Grace, elegance, just, just a vision to behold. This is natural French perfumery, understated elegance. This is a beautiful, light, airy, Ylang Ylang that has a little bit of like a tropical, creamy banana facet to it. It's not screaming banana, but it's just a hint of this gourmand quality that has an essence of that. A creamy vanilla that's perfectly sweetened. It's not too sugary, it's not heavy or thick, and then a beautiful, creamy, likable coconut and sandalwood. If you're not into woody fragrances, I would still give this a try. Those four notes just come together in harmony to make this blend. It's not screaming too much of anything, it just feels effortless. And I always get a compliment when I wear Ylang in gold. Even the most stubborn people who are kind of like quiet to themselves and they don't like to be dishing out compliments, they will compliment me on this one. This is such an easy reach for me when I want to feel just feminine, beautiful, but still be absolutely through the roof, <laughs> addicted to my scent. Like it's not an easy reach in the scent of just like, oh sure, I'll just throw this on. No, she is the moment and I get about five hours out of this one with moderate projection. This next scent, Fleur Tangerine Boy, I think is ideal for scorching hot days, like a pool day, just something fun and you need to be cool down refreshed. You get the most delightful burst of obviously tangerine in here. This is not a complex scent, but it just hits right for me because you have like a bit of this tang from, of course, the tangerine, but also the lemon, a fresh, zesty spiciness from the ginger, a hint of black pepper. So the ginger and pepper are giving it like a little bit of edge, a little bit of a cool factor, a little kick. And then I feel like I get just a touch of this fresh, clean musk, a little bit of moss in the base. This is just a feel good scent, perfectly unisex. I like that this citrus doesn't smell like cleaner at all. This to me is very much so a California kind of scent. It's the golden state. We have a lot of orange groves. It's sunny. You know, we have an orange poppy as our state flower. So this could be a scent that you wear in the summer. You go to an orange grove, do some orange picking, you set up a picnic and after several hours of being there, you go to the pool to refresh, cool down, have some orange popsicles. Like it's a whole 
vibe. It's just a fun, easy scent. And I get about five hours out of this one with intimate sillage. This next one I refuse to stop talking about because it would be a disservice to you to not inform you about its beauty. And that is, of course, Giardini di Toscana. Bora Bora. Thank goodness this is on Lucky Scent now because this house was not the easiest to get a hold of before then. Haley actually featured this in one of her recent videos and she said that she would be taking this with her on her honeymoon. I was like, my girl knows what she's doing. That is a honeymoon scent right there. It just smells so happy and dreamy. Like I cannot imagine like the possibilities for scent memories that can be associated to this. Bliss, this, this is a honeymoon kind of scent, absolutely. You are getting the creamiest form of ylang ylang, tiari, vanilla, coconut milk, juicy apricot, those mouthwatering, addictive, edible factors to this fragrance. There's this creamy, sugary, milky quality without it being, you know, like a dairy milk, okay, coconut milk. But then the florals are very prominent and they make this a fragrance that's meant to be worn. It's so feminine and refined. I just think this is gonna be a home run for a lot of people. It's unique. I haven't smelled anything like it, but I find it to be incredibly likable. And I get eight hours with moderate projection. And the last one for today, another unisex scent is Dead Cool Red Dakota. And this is in fact my favorite like orange based scent. It is just so cool and edgy. It smells sporty, chic. The clementine in here is like a dark kind of dried rind of the clementine. And you're getting the tang from the juice, but I more so get like a dark rind. As it dries down, it gets a little bit warmer, a little bit more creamy. There's just the perfect touch of amber wood gardenia. The gardenia does not make this fragrance feminine. This is, like I said, straight down the middle unisex. There's just a touch of that to bring in an ever so slight creamy tone. And the longer this sits on your skin, it gets even more addictive, like the wild berry note comes across a little bit sugared and the pairing with the dark orange zest is so good. It's citrus with an attitude, which I just love. So many citruses just fall flat for me or just kind of feel overall kind of like one dimensional. I didn't think I could fall head over heels for a citrus scent, but this is just perfect for me. It feels hip, trendy, like a cool girl, but this would suit a huge age range. Like anyone could wear this and pull it off. And I get about six hours with moderate projection. Not bad for citrus. So that wraps it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you wanna see me in any more videos, I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.